Welcome Bronco fans to Thursday's edition of the Western Michigan Football Spring Practice Report. As always, we're just sitting here with Coach Fleck, and as always, I'm going to ask you, what did we learn today? Everything. And everything about we had uh, We had red zone, green zone going in today, and uh, I tell you what, it, it's a fun part of the field. It's fun for the fans, it's fun for the student section, it's fun for the community. Uh, it is. When you're scoring points and you get down to that green zone, um, you know, it's awful, awful exciting. The kids got fired up today and thought they did a really nice job. When you're in the green zone, obviously the defense is bunched up. Uh, they're more in a, in a, in a tight uh, location. Where is it more difficult? Is it more difficult for the offense to fit something in or more difficult for the defense to try and figure yeah, out? Yeah, because it completely changes uh, the type of plays that you have. From the 17-yard line and in, okay, the field is twice as wide as it is long. Okay, so it completely changes the way that plays are called and, and how we go about looking at things like that. So um, I thought they did a phenomenal job of understanding that today. And Coach Rock and Coach Pinkham did a nice job with the installation. And um, I thought we were steps ahead of where we actually be with the first day of install with the green zone. But uh, I thought they had a lot of fun with it and they competed hard. Uh, who is standing out? We're now almost through two, you know, two complete weeks. Who is still standing out and performing elite um, on all sides of the ball? Well, I think when you look offensively, everyone, everyone, I don't want to be generic, but everyone is buying in. Everyone is just, it seems like they're having so much fun, and they are they love to learn. And our coaches are doing a great job of teaching. And it's fun to watch the development of these guys learn on a daily basis and continue to get better. If you look at, like, Tyler Van Tubergen, it's amazing where his leadership is gone. Uh, he's a very quiet kid, very humble kid, but you can tell that his demeanor uh, his body language has changed, and he's extremely accurate, which is tremendous, which is wonderful football-wise. Jamie Wilson's starting to come into his own. You know, a guy like Michael Henry um, is, is stepping up, and he look like a big body like Kendrick Roberts. Up front, I mean, Jimmy Kristoff is really taking the bull by the horns, and uh, Taylor Moten, uh, wow, is he coming along, and, and Beavers, and just really uh, of Peterson up front. I mean, I could go, I could go all along with the offensive side of the ball. Defense, the same thing. You look at like Roosevelt Donaldson. I mean, a guy that maybe a lot of people don't know, but he's coming on strong. And Corey Suing, which you expect him to be, strong, physical up front player. Um, you know, I really think Johnny Simon. You know, we moved Johnny, and Johnny is accepted at a hundred percent. And I tell you what, he is very strong at that position at that Sam backer. We're really excited about having him there. And you look in the back end and Curry. I mean, Ronald Zamwer. Um, you know, Garrett Smith back there, these guys are doing a tremendous job, and um, I'm really proud. You know, Donald Salazar is just leading so much, and, uh, you know, and our kicker. Our kicker has actually surprised me. He really has. Andrew's done a nice job. So Excellent. I apologize to name all those names, but they're, and everyone's doing a tremendous job. Clark Musman and Boyden, it, I love where we're going. I love where we're going. We're not there. We'll never, we'll never get to the end, the I-N-N. We'll never get to the end, ever. Uh, but the journey is awfully fun, and uh, Louis has got to continue to get better with the journey. Change of pace today. Usually we have a, uh, a current student athlete that follows you. Today we had a chance to sit down with Jordan White. Obviously Jordan, um, he made his mark here um, during his six years as a Bronco. What does it mean to you to have him come out to practice and to some of the guys to see him step in, talk with them? Well, I tell you what, Jordan, I got a chance to evaluate uh, being in the National Football League as a receivers coach for the Bucks, I got a chance to evaluate him. And he was my number one free agent on the board. And uh, he had some injuries here, so, I mean, in the NFL, kind of m marks you down a little bit. But he was the guy I really wanted, and I knew what we were, we'd be getting if we got Jordan White there. Now, he didn't end up coming to us, went to the Jets, but he's such a competitor. He, he's so talented. And a lot of people, if you don't know him, he's a phenomenal kid, a phenomenal young man. Wonderful head on his shoulders, has a complete direction and clear vision of what he wants to do with his life. Um, and to have our players see a guy like him continue wanting to be around the program that he left. Sometimes when people leave, they don't want to come back. Um, but Jordan does, and it's interesting, and it's a lot of fun to have him here. And shoot, I was out there coaching him yesterday, and he came to a meeting yesterday, and we sat down together. I, I, I just love to coach anyone who wants to be coached and taught. And... Um, they had a lot of fun with him out there today, and it's wonderful for a guy like Jamie Wilson to, and those guys and Collins and all those guys to have him around to say, wow, he's really proud to be a Bronco. All right, well, we are proud to have uh, Jordan back on campus, and I uh, want to thank Coach. And we're next going to be speaking with 
Jordan White. We'll be back. All right, Bronco fans, we now have a special treat. Usually we have a current Western Michigan football player sitting down with us. Right now we have a former Western Michigan football player and current New York Jet, Jordan White. Jordan, Thanks welcome back to campus. Me. Appreciate it. First of all, how are things going uh, with your training off season and uh, getting ready for 2013? Things are going good. You know, took a little time off, maybe a few weeks there in January, but you know, I hadn't played much last season. So, you know, my off season might've been a little shorter than most of the guys who played a full year. So I got back to it in January, mid-January actually, I came back here and uh, I've been training here, you know, ever since. Then about three weeks ago, you know, took a vacation with the family to Hawaii and then uh, went to work out in California with uh, Mark Sanchez. And then I uh, was in Miami for a week with uh, Darrell Rivas working on some things. So I've been around a little bit, uh, just got back here for the last two weeks. You know, definitely had to come out and check out practice and just be around the guys and be around football. What do you like what you see? Uh, I like everything. It's definitely a new atmosphere. You know, Coach Flex, you know, brought a lot of things to the university that, you know, we might not have had, you know, in the past years, you know, especially, you know, when I was here. You know, not that it's, you know, it was bad when I wasn't here, but it's, you know, just a new outlook on things and, you know, a new, you know, type of atmosphere for these younger guys that are coming in and, you know, anything from uniforms to, you know, how players are coached to the different things in the locker room, you know, things that are being said to the guys, you know, different coaching styles. You know, it's all a new thing and, and you know, guys are responding real well to it and they respond to me and, you know, tell me that they love what's going on. So from what I see out here, you know, this is my first practice I've been to since Coach Flex had the job and, you know, it's a positive atmosphere. I like everything that's going on and it's just different. What do you uh, see with the, the receivers that we have out there on the field? Um, what do you like with their, their, some of their skills, their techniques? Uh, I think more than anything, they just have a deep, they have depth, rather, at receiver. You know, something that we might have not had since, you know, me, Juan, you know, Jamarco, you know, back then, 2008, 2009, 10 season. Well, especially my last year with Rob, Caleb, you know, Eric was coming on. Um, and the guys we had then, but these guys now are probably as deep as we were, if not deeper. You know, Justin Collins brings a certain skill set. You know, he's a big receiver. You know, he can go up and get the ball. Obviously, you know, Jamie had a great year last year, being his true freshman year. You know, he works inside like I kind of did when I played here. So he's got that little knack for the inside routes and the inside field, working on bigger guys, safeties and linebackers. Obviously, you got Je uh, Schaefer who's been here, you know, since I obviously was here. And I've seen him progress from day one, you know, as a true freshman. You know, until now, he's just gotten better and better every year. And I think it's you know, his year to finally step up. And, you know, he's, he was capable of it all along, you know, just bringing it out of him. And, you know, it's, you can see out there it's finally coming out. And basically you got a, a bunch of guys that have their own little knacks. Obviously, Corny Bynes is a speed guy. Same with Braverman, shorter, quicker guy. You just got a different, you know, skill set of guys, and and it's deep, so it's it's different, you know, having that many good receivers. And I think with this off season and in the summer, and in the training camp, you know, they'll progress, especially with the receiver coach, who was at the level, the receiver, you know, played in the NFL, played, you know, in the MAC conference, and coached at the NFL level at receiver. You know, I think he'll progress these guys even faster than maybe they were, you know, before. So I think it'll be good in the end. A um, couple more questions. One, obviously, I saw you talking with Timmy Keith uh, out there today, and, and he went through what you, what you went through during your mm -hmm. college career. What's your advice for him getting back on the field? Uh, that's all a mental thing, you know, more than anything. You know, your knee is physically healed, you know, as far as your ACL goes and as far as strength goes. It's just that mental having that mental capacity to know that everything's okay, you know, everything's gonna be all right. I just need to play like I did before my injury. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what, you know, hampered me when I first came back in 2007, after my first ACL, you know, I didn't play like I played in 2006 when I first got here. And I think that's what led to my second knee injury was favoring, you know, my right knee, which mm -hmm. led to my second one. So after that second one, I 
just kind of gave it all up and so I got to be healthy and play like I did before and if something happens again it happens mm. and nothing's happened since then and you know, that's what I just reiterated to him that you know it's a mental thing more than physical you're going to be fine you're going to be the same speed you're going to be able to cut the same it's just knowing in your head that you can do all that the same so more than anything it's going to be a mind game for him coming back you know he tore his ACL the first game of the year you know I tore mine at camp so he'll be you know good to go by this coming season it's just you know coming back mentally yeah all right final question you mentioned you were on a family vacation in Hawaii and uh saw that you uh did a little surfing yeah. Number one, uh, do you travel with a professional photographer? Because you have a no. lot of photos of you doing things, eating food and, and surfing and whatnot. Do you travel with a... No, I don't. I just have, you know, some people take the pictures. I bought a Nikon, actually, so I have a, a legitimate, you know, camera, kind of like a Gary Shook type thing. Gotcha. So <laughs> I think I'm a, a photographer sometimes, so I'll take my own shots. But then when we went surfing, we had uh, one of the instructors. He was out there kind of on like a paddle boat taking pictures. But I was the worst one out of my whole family. Well, I was going to ask you, is, is surfing the, the second career no, for you? or Definitely not. Po not post-football? I only got up about two times out of 15. Well, he must have got the shots at both times because yeah. they were pretty well, good shots. I was shots. falling. Okay. Good. <laughs> we won't tell anybody that. Uh, I'm sure Jerry Shook, uh, or Gary Shook will appreciate the, the shout-out from Jordan, oh, and yeah. I appreciate you stopping by. I know you got to get a workout in. So yeah. always That's good seeing you, sir. You too. Best of luck to your Indians. Oh, yeah. On the, way to, on the other way to 162 and 0, he, he feels. I um, <laughs> want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, the next uh, practice report will be after Saturday's first official scrimmage. For Coach Fleck and Jordan White, I'm Matt Kanan. Row the boat.